today's topics, we wanted to jump in and talk about the interest rate environment as well as what can get done, what what a buyer could do to reduce their interest rates, right? Different programs you have, different yeah. things they can do. So interesting topic and uh, very timely. Thanks for being here with us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Great topic here. Obviously, interest rates, uh, it's, you know, at the forefront of, you know, every day we're hearing interest rates and, and you know, obviously the market itself, how does it impact the market, you know, buying power, monthly payments, how does that all work? And, and in a nutshell, I mean, rates, as we all know, have gone up, you know, pretty drastically the last, say, 12 to 16 months. You know, everyone in the industry realizes this. So what can we do today to, you know, kind of lessen the, uh, you know, the, the blow of the high rates? How can we help people in the short term and then obviously long term as well? So, you know, fixed rates are typically most people prefer to go the fixed rate route. I mean, that's the most common 30 year fixed mm -hmm. conventional financing, FHA, whatever it may be. Right now, we have opportunity to kind of help people in the short term without um, sacrificing the long term either. We can do what's called a two one buy down. I'm not sure if you heard of that before. It's a common, you know, it's a, it's a common theme now. It's a, the, what it does is essentially year one, it will lower the rate two percent, and year two one percent, and then by year three, it'll go back to the original rate. And the reason why this program is probably um, probably makes more sense now than ever has in the past is because we anticipate rates will go down the next say twelve to eighteen months. So it's a way for you now to reduce your payment in the short term. And then obviously long-term with the intention of refinancing. Let's say year one, you know, interest rate hypothetically would say it should be 6%. Year one, it would be 4%. And mm. what they do is they calculate the difference in payment between 6% and 4%. Let's say it's $400 a month. Essentially that 400 a month, they would take that number and multiply it by the 12 month savings. So it'd be $4,800 for year one. The, the unique thing about this program is, yes, you can pay yourself as the borrower to reduce your monthly payment. But you can also have a, um, a lender pay this. You can have a um, realtor pay this for you. Even the seller can pay this as well. So if you're able to structure your deal in, in a way where you get a closing cost credit, you can use that closing cost credit for the buy down. So essentially, you can get your payment reduced for the first 12 to 24 months and not have any additional money out of pocket. You still have to qualify at what rates are now, but your payment will be lower for the first and second year. And the reason why it's not a bad idea is because the money essentially that you're buying the buy down is held in an escrow account. So if you do refinance within the two years or sooner, the money that you haven't spent yet actually gets reimbursed to you. Oh, so it's not like you're paying like a point where, you know, a point you pay it. And if you, you know, if you refinance, Hey, it is what it is with this, the money you paid up front for the difference for the buy down actually gets given back to you. Um, something else you could possibly do. And, and again, this is another option with the arms. You know, a lot of people now too talk about the arms and, you know, they have 10, one arms out there, five, one arms. It might be a, an option for people who feel the market is going to, you know, stay the same. You can get into a 10, one arm. It's a way to keep the payment lo uh, lower, longer, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it, market is cyclical. I don't, I don't see us um, having rates as high for more than the next 12 to 18 months. I don't see this long term. If we have this, you know, high rate, you know, situation long term, I think it's going to impact buying power and the government, I think naturally will get involved if that's the case. So I guess the answer is, you know, you have to prepare. I mean, you're probably going to have to refinance if rates don't go down, maybe to an arm in two years to really, if, if rates aren't in the fours or lower, like we're anticipating. So it just depends on your situation.